Welcome to another video of X-Ray University. This set of videos we are putting together uh, are designed to help you find out if the X-Ray images you're looking at show that your assembly, specifically DGAs in this video, have defects or not. So let's start with a really, really straightforward, simple defect we find in DGAs all the time. Short. Short, uh, as you can see here, are when two balls or more are connected together when they're, they're not supposed to. Now, as you can see, there's a lot of solder being deployed here to create a short. Now, what causes that? The solder, solder mass that's supposed to keep the solder from flowing from ball to ball might be open, might be defective. And as a result, it gives, you a, it gives a path for the solder when liquid to jump from ball to ball, creating this big short. So another reason uh, is mechanical, right? My, maybe this region of the, of the DGA is too close to the board. It's pinched into the board, creating a lack of height between the DGA and the PCB, which then what happens? You have a specific volume of solder uh, deposit between the DGA and the PCB. If that height right, is not correct, if you squish the height, the width and the length of that uh, deposition is going to grow, which can then create, uh, when the solder is liquid, create a connection that ends up resulting in this big blob of solder that you see here. So let's look at another image that we have here in our board in this uh, fusion. So here's another uh, view, the same area of the board full of problems, right? So this is a tilted view, what some people call 2.5D. 2D straight down, 2.5D is when the board is here and we look at an angle, right? So you look at a perspective of things instead of just seeing, looking at them straight down. 2.5D, as you're gonna see here, is incredibly useful when diagnosing uh, DGAs. Now, this view gives us a few more uh, data points. You see here? So that's what a good ball looks like. And as you can see right there, we're actually missing a ball. You can see here, and what's really cool about this uh, image, you can see the pad on the BGA, you can see the pad on the PCB, and you can see that they're not connected with solder. Like this guy is, we see the pad on the BGA, the pad on the PCB, and a nice uh, solder ball connecting both PCB and BGA. So that's a beautiful way to show, we're using a two and a half D perspective, short, open, solder mask issues, and again, the solder pad from the BGA and the PCB. Another common issue that we see in uh, BGA assemblies is what it's called heading pillow. Heading pillow is a little bit harder to detect, uh, especially when doing electrical test, because it's that situation where uh, you do electrical test and it works just fine, you ship to the customer, it doesn't work. They ship back to you and it works. So that intermittent uh, functionality is really hard to diagnose. With, B, with an X-ray, it's much, much, much easier because with a 2.5D perspective, you can see right here a heading pillow. So you can see the ball on the BGA hovering, resting on top of a solder pillow on the PCB pad, right? Look how nice that is. You see the solder on the BGA, on the, on the, on the component, just resting uh, gingerly on top of a solder pillow on the PCB. And as you can tell in this BGA, several of those balls are just hovering on top of the pad, making or not uh, an electrical connection to the PCB. This is a 2D image of, of that same BGA. So here I'm looking straight down. Each one of these balls, right, you have the circle, so you can see the circle of the, uh, which is the edge of the ball once it collapsed. And inside, you have a slightly light, lighter circle, which is the area on the PCB pad where the solder liquefied, landed, and then solidified. What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna rotate, or we're gonna tilt the sensor ever so slightly to about 35, 40 degrees, which allows me to do a side view. And as we said before, it's called two and a half D. So let's go to the next image. Same location, now at a two and a half D, and look what happened. Now I can expose the heading pillow. And as you can see, 
right there you have the solder ball on uh, on the BGA right on the component side and the pad on the PCB right there so by just a quick look in the two and a half D I can now look like oh that's a problem that's a problem right and quickly you can identify uh, uh, balls in your uh, BGA that have the problem and have the either open uh, or a heading pillow like you can see here. Since we're talking about opens and heading pillows, which are the trickiest BGA defects to find, let me show another image of uh, uh, heading pillows. So here's another one. And as we talked, um, as we know now, right, heading pillow and open balls have a different shape. They kind of they stay really round because they didn't collapse anywhere, right? They didn't wet and collapse to the pad on the PCB. So the heading pillow balls or the open balls have a round shape. The heading pillow sometimes they have a weird shape because they liquefy, they somewhat wet around the pad on the, uh, on the PCB. And if there was a little solder there that doesn't liquefy or they liquefy at different times, you end up with this disjointed shapes that kind of match each other. Another very, very tricky problem to find when you put it together at BGA is coplanarity and alignment. So what is that? Coplanarity is when, here's your PCB, here's your BGA. Coplanarity is when your BGA sits like this. Of course, I'm exaggerating, but that's what coplanarity is. Misalignment is when your BGA is shifted from the board. And let's see what that looks like. So you see here the pad on the BGA, the pad on the board. And as you can see, the board, look at those balls. They feel like they've been stretched, right? You see how they all stretched like this? You see that? You see that? So that's a, that's a misalignment problem, right? This is when you uh, place the BGA onto the board. Um, the balls liquefied, solidified and the BGA and the board are not aligned. Usually BGAs are pretty good at self-aligning. So as soon as you liqu liquefy uh, the, by capillarity, those liquid solder balls that kind of push uh, the board and the BGA towards each other, provide a really nice alignment. But if for some reason you kept the BGA in place when you did that process, and that uh, rigid location was, per was not perfectly aligned, you might end up with problems like this. And again, this also has a coplanarity issue. These balls are more squished than these balls here on this side. The BGA is like this. It's like you're in an airplane trying to take off, right? And when you have a BGA like this, you end up with potential shorts here on this side. And look, opens, heading pillows on the other side. So be very careful when you're doing the analysis, looking at an X-ray image, uh, even if the balls shape look okay, they're not perfectly round or any other things, make a, make, a, make a point to note if the size of the balls is the same from side to side of the BGA, that's gonna require you to zoom out you know, quite a bit to look at as much as possible the whole BGA. That's usually what I do first. I do a zoom out and look at the whole BGA first and make sure I don't see this coplanarity, misalignment issues. Uh, because if you, see, if you see that, then you know, I just stop. That that that's the end. You don't don't. There's so many things that can happen once you see a misalignment issue or a um, or a coplanarity issue. The best thing to do is just go ahead and reflow it. Uh, see if you can bring it back uh, into alignment, and then put it back in the X-ray machine for uh, a final check. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, and if you have any questions or any suggestions, anything you'd like to add, let us know. But Hopefully with this uh, quick tutorial, now that you have an x-ray machine and you can look at your uh, BGAs under the x-ray, you'll be able to tell if they're good or bad in a quick and simple way. So we have a few more videos in this series, QFNs, through whole vias. Uh, so hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Thank you.